What happened? No, what's the... Hang on, where's... Oh, hang on, here it is. Wait, it... Try this. another twist we have just come out of Merlins of Wakefield and I decided that we would do a little piece on Facebook just to say to the Chaotic Minions group We've just been to Merlins of Wakefield this morning we were at Magic Enterprises in Sheffield really nice shops both really tied in with the magic community and now we're off to Magic Box and within 30 seconds I got a message saying oh hang on a second aren't you going to visit the one in Scarborough the thing is, we've been there. How I know, we've actually been to that shop before and I completely forgot. Because I remember you pointing it out to me. Mm. So we are now changing our route to take us via Scarborough. We are here in Scarborough. Um, last minute addition to our tour. We've actually been here before and we forgot that it existed. How awful is that? This is Near Miracles Magic Shop. The name of the shop is here by the door. Near Miracles, uh, magic and joke shop with novelty items. So, let's take a look inside. So inside, this is the, the first shop we've come into which is mostly novelty with some magic rather than the other way around. So it's uh, adult products over there which we won't point the camera at. We don't want to get an 18 rating on YouTube. Joke shop items, costume items. Fake dog poos. <laughs> and over here, the magic. Here it is. My name's Stacy. Hi there, Brad. Brad. And you work here in Near Miracles. Yep. Excellent. So, uh, roughly how long has this shop been here? Uh, as a joke shop, probably at least 40 years. A lot of people come in, like back someone just did come in and said, ah, oh, I came here when I was a kid, you know, and bought yeah. this and bought that. So it's been here a very long time. It's been several generations of the family it's currently in, uh, but it was a joke shop before that as well. So it's been a very, very long time. Oh, so you're in the family as well? Uh, I'm not personally. Oh, you're not Just, the, just the manager, okay. not the owner. <laughs> so the owner of the shop yeah. is a magician. He is indeed, yeah. But this shop has been a joke shop longer than it's been a magic shop. Uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it was his old man, his dad, who, was the that, uh, who owned the shop originally before him. So it was the owner's father who started it off as a kind of a magic shop as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely, I think. Uh, the magic stuff that we've put down there, it's been the same kind of setup for a while now. Different yeah. magic comes in, but it's been the same setup for a long time now, yeah. Okay, so you've basically stocked the same kind of stuff. Yeah, we get new stuff in every year, like, but it's, with like I say, we've had like a steady cast flow of magic for at least like 10, 20 years now, easily. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that it's the things you stock here are mostly kind of beginner items because you get a lot of passing trades so you wouldn't have stuff necessarily uh, for professional No, magicians. we've got like uh, several items that, and stuff that are suitable for kind of beginners and younger magicians and things but we also do professional stuff as well. Uh, we have like uh, larger stage items mm -hmm. uh, like you know production boxes and things like that so as well as smaller close-up ones, coins, cards, a bit of everything really. Even though you do mail order Yep. We don't try and compete with these shops who do like all the latest, newest tricks coming out every week. And uh, well, let's like say we get new, we get new stock every year, just like everyone else. So we do have reasonably decent, you know, kind of new tricks coming in all the time. So we also keep some of the older, more traditional stuff as well, things like educated duck, things that are popular, old kind of uh, traditional magic items. So uh, it's a good thing about magic is it always comes and goes, doesn't it? So yeah. like, uh, what's popular one year will be not the next, and it will be again. So <laughs> true enough. Okay. Um, that's it really. I mean, it's if the owner was here, I'd probably ask a few other things, but yeah, yeah, I, I think that's fine for now. It actually isn't our business card, it's our York Store's business card, but yeah. it'll do. So, like I say, website's on there, you can buy an offer online and stuff. Okay, well, they can find this shop on that website, yeah. Generally.
Yes. I mean, we go to the Black Magic Convention every year as well, so mm. definitely pop us up. Yeah. I'm sure the boss will be happy if he has a, a few minutes and like the websites are there and stuff. I'm sure oh, okay, cool. Fine, so. I'll do that because I do go to Blackpool every year, so. No, I say it's a shame. It's a shame you only found those accidentally because he would have been here otherwise. I'm sure yeah. he would have come over so he could wave things at you and have oh. a chat with you. <laughs> I think there's a tendency amongst hardcore magic fans to look at shops like this as not being proper magic shops because they've got such a joke shop vibe to them. But occasionally you can find stuff in places like this which you can't find anywhere else. It's only when you look closely when you realise what something is. I'll pop it all back for you. It's a 599 piece. Thank you. Here we go. Cheers. Thank you very much. For those watching, I just bought a magic coin lamp, which may seem like a, a strange and frivolous trick when you when you think it's got a name like magic coin lamp, but it's actually a Boston box which works with English coinage, which I've been looking for for ages, and it is shaped for a nice theme. So, awesomeness. Little things you can only find in little shops like this. Thank you. Very much. Change. Ooh. Oh, and a penny box. change. Intriguingly, I didn't spot this before. They actually show some of the magic tricks that they have in the window. Oh, look. No. Oh, and another Dippy Duck. You cannot get away from Dippy Ducks. You will see us next in... Newcastle. Newcastle! You will see us next in Newcastle. So, today made an interesting contrast from the other magic shops that we've seen so far. It was not really a magic shop, it was more of a joke shop than anything. And, you know, the guy running it, well, so the guy that owns it is a magician. Um, and they, you know, they did have some professional magic tricks in there. But they couldn't keep, like, a, a constantly updating stock of the newest things. There was no large section of books. There were no DVDs. It seemed to mostly be uh, gimmicks that they were selling. Mostly tricks, trick boxes, trick decks of cards, trick trick. Trick things, basically, just tricks. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but remember, it was predominantly a joke shop. I know it was tricks. predominantly a joke shop. That's what got me thinking that maybe if it wasn't for brick and mortar magic shops, the only magic you'd be able to get other than on the internet would be the kind of things you see there. Yeah. Mischievous worker is, of course, yeah. a sexy minion costume. Yeah.